Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to know the examination pattern and syllabus for TSE set. Candidates preparing for this examination, make sure that you are having well awareness of how the examination is marked and also what are the different topics that you have to consider for preparation. This will make your preparation much more easier and convenient. If you want to access all of this information in one space, head over to exams.freshersnow.com so that you would not miss out on any of the updated and latest, latest information regarding this entrance exams. So all you have to do is head over to Google and search for set syllabus precious now so as you search you can see the first website that you're going to see is from exams or precious now give a click here you will be landing over this particular page starting off with the introduction of the exam you are then headed over to a brief of the examination so the examination would be conducted on uh, for uh, the diploma bsc mathematics and pharmacy courses examination is going to be for 200 marks the allocation of time is going to be for three hours and further before we head over to the details a request to all of you is about our telegram channel to you to join us so why you have to be joining us because we would be giving all of the updated and latest information regarding this entrance exams in telegram instantly so timely you can keep checking up also through this uh, youtube channel as well you are going to get this latest videos regarding entrance exam so you have to subscribe to our channel heading over to the overview of the exam this is from telangana state engineering common entrance examination by jawala Nehru Technological University and the name of the organization is Telangana State Council of Higher Education. The official website is given here in case if you want to cross check about the uh, provisionals of this particular details of the exam. So there are three subjects of the exam which is mathematics, physics and chemistry and you have the engineering paper. So engineering paper depending upon the major that you have chosen. So mathematics you have for 50 and physics and chemistry you have 25 for 25 which is going to be common. Now in this engineering branches you have your majors civil, electrical, electronics, mechanical, electronics and communication, computer science, chemical, metallurgical, mining, electronics and instrumentation, biotechnology and whatever the major that you have chosen so it's going to be for 100. Now this is going to be a separate paper for the branches for uh, diploma engineering branch. And for BSc Mathematics, you have Mathematics, Analytical Ability, Communicative English, uh, which is going to be for 100, 50 and 50. Now for Pharmacy Streams, you have Pharmaceutics, Pharmaceutical uh, chem Chemistry, Pharmacology, Pharmacology and Toxicology. You have 50 marks in each of the section. Heading over to the syllabus, here you have all of the courses. Now there's no need to check all of the courses, right? So whatever course is applicable to you or what are the common uh, subjects that the examination is holding, those sections are enough or those subjects are enough. For example, you are belonging uh, to electrical and electronics engineering, just give a click here. This particular page would be opening up for you, showcasing the unit wise subtopics and also the division of the topics. For example, as you can see, for mathematics, you have unit one matrices, unit two, you have trigonometry, unit three, you have analytical geometry, then you have differentiation and its application. Now here, the unit is given and here, these are the subtopics that you can consider for preparation. Then unit 5 you have for integration and its applications. Then unit 6 you have uh, differential equations. Just like this, now if you head over to the next one for uh, civil engineering. Then you have again for mathematics, trigonometry, all of the different topics or all of the different units which are in regard to civil engineering are given here. So like this you would be having all of the different subjects. So whichever is applicable to you or whichever major that you have chosen, you can prepare or click on the link respectively. Further questions can be placed in the comment section so that you are clear with everything and further head over for your preparation much more 
productively. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the button below and we'll see you all soon.